Dynamum, did you call Chairman Dynamum? Ma'am, sir has come. Sir has come, very good. Yes, yes, sir is here. Sir is put up his hand. Good morning, sir. One minute to go. Good morning, all. Good morning, sir. Very good morning, ma'am. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Students and assembly hosts, very good morning to all of you. Good morning, sir. Yes, I think uh, we should be ready to go. Dana, ma'am. Children, Shrikar, you can start, please. Good morning, Subhi, sir. Ma'am, you please uh, close that annotation, whatever is there, no, ma'am? Otherwise, there'll be somebody scratching this. Who is scratching? So happy guy. Morning, morning itself is having a nice uh, <laughs> agitation in his mind. Welcome virtual assembly by Rockwood Deans. Good morning, respect chairman, director, principal, headmistress, teachers, parents, and all my dear Rockwoodians. We pray to be given strength to overcome all the difficulties in life for the peace and prosperity of all this world. Let's join our hands, close our eyes, and pray for the same.
Today, we have reached the seventh habit of Stephen Covey, and that is sharpen the saw or seek continuous improvement and learn professionally and personally. Sharpen the saw means preserving and enhancing the greatest asset you have, that is yourself. It means having a balanced program for self-renewal in the four areas of your life, namely physically, social or emotional, mental and spiritual. Here are a few suggestions on sharpening your emotional blade. First one, meditate. Second, keep a gratitude journal. Third, visit a therapist. Fourth, read a book on cognitive behavioral therapy. Fifth, practice deep breathing. Sixth, soak in the positive. Seventh, practice self-compassion. Eighth, learn how to be more resilient. You improve all four areas constantly, sometimes slowly, sometimes quickly. And the first is the physical. We all know that we need to exercise and be careful about nutrition. The stress of life gets to everyone. Exercising and eating right are so important. And the second is mental. There are so many ways to stay sharp mentally. I meditate and maintain a journal I feel that helps me clear the cobwebs in my head. The four, third one is spiritual. This is a very personal area. It can mean many different things to different individuals. To me, it means what fuels my soul. And what fuels my soul is helping others. I do that as often as I can. The fourth one is relationships. Building relationships Take a, take a long time and hard work. There are plenty of ways to do this. Spend time with other people, listen to them, see how you can help them. Let us now see how sharpening the saw helps everybody irrespective of age, profession, stage of life or whether one is a teacher or a student. As long as one lives, one needs to learn. Let us now see the video. Sharpen the saw is one of the seven habits of highly effective people, outlined by author Stephen R. Covey. Sharpen the saw means preserving and enhancing the greatest asset you have, you. If you want a tool to last long, you've got to take care of it. The importance of sharpening your saw is beautifully illustrated in this story. It was the annual lumberjack competition and the final was between two lumberjacks. One was an older, experienced lumberjack and the other was a younger, stronger lumberjack. The rule of the competition was quite simply who could fell the most trees in a day was the winner. The younger lumberjack was full of enthusiasm and went off into the woods and set to work straight away. He worked all through the day and all through the night. As he worked, he could hear the older lumberjack working in another part of the forest. And he felt more and more confident with every tree he felled that he would win. At regular intervals throughout the day, the noise of trees being felled coming from the other part of the forest would stop. The younger lumberjack took heart, knowing that this meant the older lumberjack was taking a rest, whereas he could use his superior youth and strength and stamina to keep going. At the end of the competition, the younger lumberjack felt confident he had won. He looked in front of him at the piles of felled trees that were the result of his superhuman effort. At the medal ceremony, the young lumberjack stood on the podium, confident and expecting to be awarded the prize of champion lumberjack. Next to him stood the older lumberjack, who looked surprisingly less exhausted than the younger lumberjack felt. 
When the results were read out, the young lumberjack was devastated to hear that the older lumberjack had chopped down significantly more trees than he had. He turned to the older lumberjack and said, How can this be? I heard you take a rest every hour, and I worked continuously through the night. Once more, I'm younger and stronger and fitter than you, old man. The older lumberjack turned to him and said, Every hour, I took a break to rest and sharpen my saw. At its surface, there are a lot of things to take away from this story. A sharp saw is more effective. Choose your tools wisely. Why struggle with a blunt saw? Perhaps it is wise to take time to sharpen it. If you don't know how to use a tool, learn. When we work more effectively, we get more done. Stop doing things that don't work. Rest is just as important as hard work. A rested worker is a good worker. A tired worker is a poor worker. This story is really relevant to me and I would imagine to a lot of new teachers. We get frustrated by life and our inability to cope with things in the classroom. But instead of developing ourselves and taking the time to become more effective, we keep struggling with a blunt soul. Being at work doesn't always mean you're working. Grading a test doesn't always mean you're giving feedback. Talking to someone doesn't always mean you're connecting with them. Don't confuse activity with action. Taking a break does not always mean you're resting. Feeling good doesn't just happen. Living a life in balance means taking the necessary time to renew yourself. It's all up to you. You can renew yourself through relaxation, or you can totally burn yourself out by overdoing everything. You can pamper yourself mentally and spiritually, or you can go through life oblivious to your well-being. You can experience vibrant energy, or you can procrastinate and miss out on the benefits of good health and exercise. You can revitalize yourself and face a new day in peace and harmony. Or you can wake up in the morning full of apathy because you gear up and your go is gone. You got no get up and go. Just remember that every day provides a new opportunity, a new opportunity for renewal, a new opportunity to recharge yourself instead of hitting the wall. We can't delegate this task of sharpening the saw to others. Diet, exercise, rest. No one else, not the most well-meaning partner, not your parents, not your friends, no one else can take on this role in our behalf. We have to build these into our routine or it doesn't happen. When you take time to sharpen your saw, you increase your capacity to produce and you increase your capacity to handle the challenges around you. But without this renewal, the body becomes weak, the mind mechanical, the emotions raw, the spirit insensitive, and the person selfish. Not a pretty picture, is it? One class, one day, one week, one month, one semester, one year in a classroom is a marathon. And the rest is as important as the work. Remember, you are the most important tool in your classroom. You must take care of yourself in order to take care of others. So let's keep our physical, social, mental, and spiritual tools sharp. If you don't want to listen to me, take some advice from America's greatest president, Abraham Lincoln. He said, give me six hours to chop down a tree, and I'll spend the first four sharpening the ax. So dear rock audience, let us visit all the seven habits once again. Be proactive, begin with the end in mind, first things first, think win-win, seek first to understand, then to be understood, synergize, sharpen the saw.
Habits one, two, and three are focused on self mastery and moving from dependence to independence. Habit four, five, and six are focused on developing teamwork, collaboration, and communication skills, and moving from independence to interdependence. Habit seven is your own. You cannot delegate anyone to sharpen your saw. You need to do it yourself. We hope you all embedded. the seven habits these are so good for you and your personal growth so practice it and you will be a highly successful individual so dear friends from today onwards please practice seven habits for a successful life now i request a special miss ladita and i do to address the assembly respected chairman director and mistress parents teachers and dear children very good morning to all of you so with this we have come to the end of our seven days of assembly where we focused on the seven habits of highly effective people now we have seen how each habit brings a change in us and the last one that is sharpening the saw is so very important learning is lifelong and if one stops learning one stops to live so we need to learn throughout our life and learn effectively focusing on our own self we should not work to such an extent that there is a burnout in us but at the same time we learn to work smartly in the next assembly i will tell you all what the smart goals are going to be thank you very much and have a fantastic day thank you i now request the chairman mr raman naidu sir to address us good morning to all of you today let me give a few inputs on stephen r covey's the seventh habit sharpen the saw sharpen the saw means continuous improvement and renewal professionally and personally it means preserving and enhancing greatest asset you have that means you are trying to spend time for renewing your physical skills social emotional skills and mental skills also spiritual skills how you can empower yourself is spending some amount of quality time with yourself so that you can enhance these four skills these four dimensions such a way that you would be having best food you would be spending quality amount of time with your relationships whether your friends or your parents or you are trying to practice some tools something like yoga or music or art to enhance your mental and spiritual skills when you are really having these skills with a balanced mindset you can do wonders in your day to day life by having best skills and with high focus work on your particular tasks so renewal is the principle and the process that empowers us to move on upward spiral of the growth and chain of continuous improvement as you renew yourself in each of the four areas you create growth and change in your life sharpen the saw keeps you fresh and you can continue to practice the other six habits without any difficulty you increase the capacity to handle the challenges and also handle the people around you without renewal your mind becomes weak you become mechanical your emotions are raw finally you become more selfish person these kind of pictures are not so exciting they are looks they looks very ugly and pity sharpen the saw doesn't mean that you continuously burn out work every day 10 to 12 hours of time what it means is you are trying to preserve some time 
and also build your personal skills social skills emotional skills and mental skills i would like to give one quote on this day one who is always in rest doesn't progress in life one who is always in activity doesn't see any bliss in his life he cannot see the value of deep rest time is the greatest healer i would recommend all of you take time every day at least one to one and a half time to enrich your four of these dom domains so that you can do wonders in your life thank you very much have a nice day my dear students thank you sir thank you sir may i now request all of you to stand for the national anthem janagana man janagana man adhinayak jay he bharat bhagya vidhata punjab sindh gujarat maratha dravida utkala vanga हिमाचल यमुना गंगा उच्चल जलधि तरंगा तव शुभ नामे जागे तव शुभ आशीष मागे गाहे तव जय गाधा जन गण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता I request you all to stay home and stay safe. I request you all join your respective online classes with your teachers.